There we go. Good. Let's get some side lunges. Again, stretch it out. Side lunges. Step side to the side. Stretch out the inner part of the thigh. Can you hear me, see me? Yes. Can you see me? Uh, see you? No, I cannot see you, but I can hear you. I know, technical difficulties. I couldn't even log Let's get oh. some forward lunges. Forward lunges, torso twist. Again, forward lunge, and you're going to twist to the knee that is forward. There we go. Yes, you can also extend the lumbar, extend, hyperextend, stretch out the lower back. Again, just make sure we are lunging. Forward lunge, shoulders back. <laughs> Good, nice. Let's get some crawl out stretches. So you're going to crawl it out, dip the hips down, slightly bend the knees. Remember, this is the stretch, not the exercise. So you're going to crawl it out, dip the hips down like you're in that yoga snake position and crawl it back in and open up nice and wide the chest. So again, crawl it out, dip the hips down, stretch, crawl it back in, slight bend the knees. Remember, this is the stretch, not the exercise. Keep going. Good. Now let's pick it up a little bit. Good. We're going right into a walking out squat thrust. You're going to walk, squat down, walk it out to the high plank, walk it back in, come back up. Can you see me now? Yes, we can. All right, perfect. Alex got you nice and warmed up. We're going to jump right into it. They're nice and warmed up, right, Alex? They're warmed yes, up? they are. Get them. They perfect. should be good to go. All right, so we're going to do three different types of movements. Throughout this workout, isometric movement followed by a plyometric movement and then a dynamic, which is it's just a regular. Since you're already pretty much warmed up, we're going to start right into isometric. So it's going to go iso, plyo, and dynamic. And each round, we're going to rotate how those go. It's going to different effect every round. It's going to be a nine exercise round, a nine exercise circuit. So literally, we're going to start right off the bat with isometric. It's a push up hold. You're just holding half of the push up position. It's already 30 seconds. So just follow. Along right with me. You're right here in the push-up position. Just holding halfway down for 30 seconds. Just stiff, stiff, locked in place. Working your chest, your shoulders, your try. So just get right down there. It's gonna be 30 seconds. Try to always make sure the camera can see you when you're on the floor. So we can see if you're low enough, if you're not too low, if your back is straight, if you're arching your lower back. Always make sure we can see your entire body. So always position the camera. If you have to go up and down on some of these workouts, it makes us be able to see you a little better. We need to see that back. Totally straight, stiff as a board, locked in place. Straight and strong, chest, shoulders, tries. It should be halfway down. Your elbows should be bent mm -hmm. a lot more than that. A lot of you are too straight. Unless you can't hold it halfway down, try to keep it halfway down. It's just a hold. Keep holding that while you're listening up to what's coming next. It's going to be a fire chest set. So you're going to take, whether you have a medicine ball or a weighted bag, like I just have a weighted bag here. You're going to lay on your back for a fire chest right here. And you're just exploding this up and catching it. Explode it. You have a medicine ball. Just explode it or a weighted bag. You're exploding it up from your chest. You're laying on your back with your knees bent. Exploding it up from your chest. You did isometric for the chest. We're going right to plow message. So drop on your back, throwing it straight up in the air. Straight up and down. Laying on your back with your knees bent. So you're going right to it. So you should be here. If you have a medicine ball, just use your medicine ball. Or... Use your weighted bag. It could be a bag of laundry. I'm intentionally going to use other equipment today just so you can see uh, the options that you have. So you don't have to just have an excuse if I don't have any equipment, I don't have any medicine ball or dumbbells. We're not going to use any of that today just to show you what's possible, what's capable. Of course, if you have dumbbells and medicine balls, it's always going to be the best. But sometimes using this other type of stuff even gives you a, a different, a better workout just because the way the weight is shifted and a different grip than you used to. So this should be explosive. You should be throwing that up there, trying to hit the ceiling. Don't let it come down and hit you in the face. Don't play dodgeball with yourself and end up freaking losing to a game of dodgeball to yourself. Explode that up in the air. Keep the core tight while you're laying there, working your chest, your shoulders, your tries. Explode it up, breathe it out. You're gonna need your, a heavy set of dumbbells next or whatever your heaviest weight is next. So just keep throwing. You got 10 more seconds throwing this up there. Explode up from your chest. Explode. 
Boom. Throw it up there. Short first spare. Throw it up in the air. Boom. Keep rolling. And time. And you're going to go right away to your heavy weight. Whatever your heavy weight is. For me, I have a loaded up luggage that I'm going to use. If you have dumbbells, use your heavy dumbbells. Whatever your heaviest weight is. I'm using literally a luggage that's filled with weight. Just do a chest press. So this is our dynamic chest press. Biometric. And now dynamic, just a regular chest press. If you have dumbbells, just use your dumbbells. I like that. Or you can use your dog, you can use your family member. Down, out to the mouth and the way up. Drive it up there, whatever your heaviest weight is. If you're using a five pound jug, that's 40 pounds. If you have dumbbells, don't think you have to use the weird stuff. This is just to show you what is what's capable, what you can actually use. If you have a heavy set of dumbbells, just use your dumbbells. It's just a chest press. As you're pushing up, breathe out, out through your mouth, in through your nose, coming down. Out through your mouth as you drive up. Tap the elbows to the floor. Heavy, this should be your heaviest weight possible. So it was right after you did an isometric hold on your chest. Then we did a plyometric on your chest, and now it's just a dynamic chest press. So that's going to be the flow. That's going to be the three different types of movements for everything we're doing. We're going to take that right into the squats coming up next. Let's get, let's get 10 more seconds here on this chest press. If you, have a, if you have a light weight, let's get some tempo to that if it's not heavy enough for you. But that's 90 seconds straight through or more just on your chest. So by the time you get to this dynamic, you should be feeling it. So right away, you're going to go to your squat. Pick up, pick up on your weights. I'll just hold the kettlebell for this one. Pick up your weight, and you're just going to hold a squat hold, the bottom of a squat position. Your elbows are not resting on your legs. We're just going to hold that with your thighs parallel to the floor. Locked in place. Sit back on your hips and heels. Squeeze your glutes. Your head is up. Your chest is up. Lock strong, sitting on your glutes, and you're sitting back in the chair, and you take the dump on the toilet bowl. <laughs> in the world, you might have to go out in the woods and, and dig a hole, and this might be how you're going to have to take a shit, so just get used to it. We're training you for the zombie apocalypse. Hold that in place. It's holding lower, Yosef, lower. Lower. There We're gonna hold you that go. Seconds. Yes, yes, get those thighs parallel to the floor. You should be able to see you on the camera in any one of these Joseph, positions. don't be hiding me, Joseph. Joseph, you better put that camera back on. Don't try to hide. Don't try to hide. He's in the witness protection program. Hold that down there. So this is our isometric. Our next one is going to be the plyometric. Now, the plyometric, you can hold something or you can do a body weight. I'm going to hold the bag that has some weighted balls in it. And it's going to be a squat jump. So let's go right to your squat jump, either with a lighter weight or with no weight. Squat jump. Sit back on the hips and heels. This is your plyometric. Right to it. Breathe out. It's the same technique of the squat. Exhaling when you're going up. Into the nose and way down. Drive it, drive it. Explode up there. Strong exhale. Get some air, get some air. Way up in the sky, way up in the sky. Your head should be hitting the ceiling. Right to it. You can hold a light weight, or this one could just be body weight. It's plyometric, doesn't even need any weight. But whatever you're doing, it should be a maximum jump. Trying to hit your head to the ceiling. Full deep squat, getting all the way up in the air. Explode. There we go. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. So we did isometric on the squat. Now we did plyometric. The last one is going to be the dynamic. So you grab your weight, hold it at your chest, and it's just going to be your regular set of squats. That's going to be 90 seconds. Right to it. Let's go to our regular set of squats now. So let's do our dynamic set. If it goes down. So we did the isometric pulling the bottom. We did the plyometric jumping with less weight. And now the dynamic with your main weight, whatever your heaviest weight is. The dynamic is going to have the heaviest weight. The isometric is going to have a medium. Plyometric is going to be your lightest weight. Or you can use the same weight you want. Depending on what you have to hold, what you're using, you can use dumbbells. You can use medicine ball. You can use kettlebell. Whatever it is, if your nose down, your thighs are parallel to the floor. Sit back on your hips and heels. Exhale when you come up. Brace that core. Every set is an ab set. You work your abs the way you should be on all these exercises. You will never need to do an ab exercise the rest of your life. You will have ripped, lean, strong, functional core. That's the way you need to think about it. Let's do it. Let's roll. So we're going to do the same thing for your back. We're going to start with isometric. If you watch, just keep going with this. I'll tell you when it's coming up. I'll just get that in your head. Sorry, what to do. So the next is going to be back. If you looked at the video I just put earlier today, I was hanging underneath the table, actually doing inverted rows. That's one way we could do it. But we're just going to stick with your weight. Done. Time. Get one of your heavier weights for your row. And it's going to be 
holding, squeezing into your chest, pinching your shoulder blades together with that heavy weight. So you can just use dumbbells. And listen, if you have dumbbells, use dumbbells. But you should be holding them, pinning it to your chest while you're pinning it, squeezing your lats, pinching your shoulder blades together. So you're just holding the isometric hold, locked in place. That's the way you need to think about it. I have back flat. Good. Hold it there, Paolo. Hold it there. Hold it there. ISO hold. Hold it. Hold it. iPhone. Who's iPhone? Who's that iPhone? I can't see your face. Your face is cut off. Yeah, you need to lean over at the waist a little more. Lean all the way over so your back is parallel to the floor. And hold those hands to the side of your ribs. And don't just hold it there. Hold this it there, be- guys. Hold it. So this should be one of your... Don't drop of it. Food. Don't drop it. Squeeze it. Lock. And when you're holding it there, consciously you're back together, your shoulder blades together, pinch them together. Locked. Janae, Pinch. hold it there. Janae, Blade. hold it. Hold it there. Hold it. Hold it. Don't drop it. Hold it. Janae, hold it. Yeah, hold it. Hold Squeeze. it while I'm telling you about what's coming up next. The next is going to be a straight arm medicine ball slam. If you don't have a medicine ball, use your bag of laundry. Or if you don't want to slam anything on the ground, I'm just going to do it here with a kettlebell. So check this out. Let's go. It's a straight arm slam. Doing it without, see, I'm pulling over with my lats, but without slamming to the floor. So that's always the way. Even if I was doing a regular slam, you can always do it that way also. You can always do a slam without slamming it. It's explosive. It's going down, but your chest is out and your core is tight. So you're doing a straight arm slam. If you can, if you have, space, you have a medicine ball, it's going to grab the ball. You should be doing just a straight arm slam overhead if you have your ball. Just straight up overhead. If you can slam, slam. This is really amazing. Yosef, use one dumbbell. Use one heavy dumbbell. Are we doing slams? Yeah, but don't even slam it like you're doing a all of like a wood dumbbell, drop. Just hold that dumbbell. Oh, you already have one. Okay, it's you're good. Okay. With speed, you're going down some speed. You're slamming the brakes. If you can, but don't bend the knees. You slam straight, straight. Then bend them to pick up after. Let go with the legs straight, Yosef. There you go, straight. Your body's totally stiff when you're throwing it. Boom. So look, I'm straight when I slam, and then go down and pick it up. If you can slam, yeah. slam. Try not to lean go, forward, Tyler. Try, try not to lean forward. Balls. There you go, right <laughs> there. Good. Keep those arms Wake extended a little bit. Neighbors. Slight bend. Slight, slight bend in the elbow. Slight forward. bend. She should just be here. Bam. Bam. You're Don't stiff. bend the elbow too much. Don't bend the elbow too much. Look when I slam it, how straight the back's going to stay. Boom. If the ball bounces, you feel it on the shoulders. Then you go down to get it after you slam it if it's dead weight. So this is our plyometric for the back. And time. If you have dumbbells, get dumbbells. If you have water jugs, you can get single water jugs. We're going to call this our dynamic. I'm actually going to use these two battery chargers here, which are equal weight. We need equal weight. And you're just going to go alternating rows here, bent over rows. Squeezing it. Keep it holding your ground. Whatever you have, equal weight, you can put it both hands. It could be 40 pounds. If you have a five-gallon thing of water, that's going to be 40 pounds in each hand. Or you could do a one-gallon, which is eight pounds. Whatever's going to work for you. Just tight, squeeze, we're alternating. But, Yosef, move both of them at the same time. They're alternating. And also iPhone. It's not one arm at a time. Look, they're both moving, moving slow, and one one and one. That is the way to do it. That's not what we're doing right now. So just one and one. Alternate, both moving at the same time. Right there. We're going to call that our dynamic. We're going to take this as your your warm-up round, so you've kind of got a feel for what we're doing, and now you kind of get in your head what weights you should use for each of these exercises. And time. Put them down. So we did isometric, biometric, and dynamic. This round we're just going to alternate the switch, switching up of that. It's going to go plyo, dynamic, and then iso last. So you're going to get a different effect every time. It was right up on the board. The board couldn't fit back here. So, so the first set we did iso, plyo, dynamic. We're just rotating this time. Now it's going to be plyo, dynamic, iso. So now iso goes last instead of first. So it's going to be a complete different feel on everything. But it's all those same nine exercises, just rotating the order now.
and you're gonna get a complete different feel. And you also should know now what kind of weight you need. So keep in mind how it felt that first round as you practice it, so that you know what, to, what weight to use this round. So let's get right to it. Right into the chest plyo, if you remember, with the chest press. So if you have the medicine ball, just use the medicine ball, just flat on your back, right here. And just explode. And catch it solid. See, I catch it solid, then lower to my chest. Explode, I'm just saying to catch solid. Heavier the ball, the better. Explode it up. Speedy, explode, catch solid, lower to your chest. Breathe out and push up. If it goes down, maximum effort on the plyo. Throw it up there, explode it up. If you notice you're coming down, explode that weight up there. So catch it with your arms solid, then lower your chest. Don't let it drop right to your chest. Brace for impact with your arms straight up in the air. You need some speed on that. You need some explosiveness on that. If you don't have a heavy enough weight, you need to pack up some more weight. You can fit a lot of weight inside of a backpack for a throw like this. You can fit a lot of weight inside of a, a, a bag, a sleeping bag, whatever it's called, a pillowcase. So explode that from your chest. Breathe out, explode up. There it is, let's go 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Make sure you're catching with your arms extended and then lower it down to your chest. Throw it up there. And those elbows down a little bit more, Paula. Elbows down more to the ground, there you go. Yep, all the way down to that weight, touch your chest at the bottom. Catch it with your arms extended, then lower it, and boom, explode it up. Explode it up in the freaking sky. Breathe out as you're pushing it up. And times, that's our chest fly up. Chest plyo. We're going chest dynamic. Go on the floor for your chest press. Whatever your heavy weight is. Chest press on the floor. Just your regular press. If you have heavy dumbbells, use your dumbbells. Whatever you need. Heavy luggage. This should be your heaviest weight you have. You always should have dumbbells in your house anyway. Dumbbell, medicine, more caramel, band. Just the basics. You should always have in home for any time, even during... Peace time, not even just for war time like now, but even during peace time, just in case you need to get an extra workout and miss a workout or work out on the weekend, you should have those basics at your house anyway. Even if you weren't doing the online training, always have that stuff there. Always have the basics at home. So you always never never have an excuse to miss a workout. So right now you're just chest press. Breathe out when you're pushing up. Into your nose, coming down. Breathe it out. In, coming down. There it is, right there. You know what the weight feels like. So if you're in the middle of one of these sets and it's too light, you just switch it on your own. If you have some other weights available or something heavier available, switch it out. Yeah, Jasmine, I'm talking to you. That's looking a little light there. <laughs> Over there bullshit with them little three and a half pounders. You could use a barbell. You could use dumbbells. You could use two heavy kettlebells. You could use two hands. A little luggage like this, you could put stuffed books in here. You could put all kinds of shit in there, buckets of water in there, a bunch of bottles of water. Cans of soup, all your survival food you have for the apocalypse, shove it there in there, and you can get some weight out of that. It's exactly all you need. There's a, always a way to make it happen. Like I see a five-gallon jug get pushed up in the air. And the thing about that is that water is squishing around, so you're also working a little different to balance that out. It's exactly the way you need to be doing it. And this is our dynamic set. Pump that out. Pump that out. Let's go 10 more seconds on these. 10 more seconds. Breathe it out. Get as many reps as you can in these last 10 seconds. Keep going. We're on a regular chest press. While you're doing any of these, if it's ever too light, just give yourself a heavier weight. I'm not gonna say if it's ever too light, because I know it's if they're ever too heavy. I know it's not too freaking heavy. And time, we're gonna go to the push-up. You're gonna hold it about three quarters of the way down. So if you can see me, my chest is hovering above the floor. It's about three or four inches off the floor. You're gonna hold there, stiff and forward. Lock in place, straight line, isometric push-up hold with your chest literally. Three to four freaking inches off the floor. That's all you need to be doing. Hold it tight. Not let your stomach re rest on the floor. Put your feet together touching. Heel to heel, toe to toe. Unless you need some help, then put your feet apart. So let your feet touch each other. Joseph is still hiding behind the camera. Janae, I can't see you. Go sideways. I can't see you. <laughs> you need to be able to see your body so you can make sure you're going Don't be hiding away. from me. <laughs> also, we need some, still see some lighting, some better lighting in some of these spots so we can see you hiding in the shadows. Hold that bottom. We're still holding. 15 more seconds. Don't drop, Bala. Don't drop. You Hold do the not line. drop Hold on the me. Line. Locked in place. So you're about 75% of the way down. Just a couple inches off the floor. Joseph, get back in position. Get back in position. 
We're still holding it. Another five those seconds. Those elbows in. Oh, elbows right. in. Don't cave. Don't crumble. Don't quit. Don't fall. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to our three <laughs> squat sets now. Starting with our plyo. So go right to a squat jump. You can hold a light to medium weight. Squat jump. We're going plyo first this round. Remember, on all nine sets, all three groups. Remember, the, a, a chest group of three, a squat group of three, and a back group of three. Going in this order this round, plyo. Dynamic and ISO. So we're on plow. Hit your squat jump. So back on the hips and heels. Explode it up. Head up, chest out, shoulders up, back and down. I want to see some air. I want to see some air. Get up there. Get up there. Land soft on the balls of your feet. If it starts getting too hard with the weight, just dump the weight and keep going with your body weight. Keep going before you stop. Modify before you stop. Modify before you quit. Go body weight if you have to. Keep on rolling. Hold it at your chest. Drive, drive. Ten more seconds. Ten seconds. Joseph, keep jumping. Keep jumping. Switch the body weight you have to. Drop the weight if you need to. Janae, get up higher. Janae, get up higher. <sighs> yes, yes. I want to see you disappear up the freaking screen. And time. And now we got the squat ISO. So hold the weight. This one, you are going to hold the weight. Whatever weight you have, whatever weight you want. And you're going to hold the bottom of the squat for 30 seconds. Only problem with these 30 seconds, it's in my brain the 30 seconds, and it's calibrated a little bit different. <laughs> I'm playing around from, so it might be a second or two, a minute more than 30 seconds. But you're going to deal with it. You're going to figure it out. So it's holding it's definitely going to be a minute. <laughs> holding your weight up at your chest. Hold. So you just did a pile, a dynamic, and now an ISO squat. Those quads should be burning. The glutes should be on fire. If they're not, you need to push the pace on those piles a little more and have your weight on the dynamic a little more. So now that by the time you got to this ISO, that should suck. If not, you need to challenge yourself a little more. You kind of know what each one of these sets feels like. Next round, we're going to rotate the order again. We have the three back sets coming up. at the 10 more seconds of holding this. Get a little lower. Low, low, low. Get low. Head up. Arms are not on your legs. Head is up. Open the Puff side the chest here. out, Yosu. Puff the chest <laughs> out. Sitting on your come back up and reset. Right? You need to come back and reset. Back is straight. Don't lean there forward. You go. Okay. There, there you go. There you go. Come on, Paolo, Paolo, come on. Paolo, drop back down, drop back down, and hold. Hold the freaking line. Hold the line. Don't crumble. Don't fall. Five, four, hold it. Three. The lower you go, the faster I'll count. If I see hands on knees, the clock stops. Three, <sighs> two, hold, hold, one. No, no, no. We come down on zero. We're uh, come up on one. Get back down to hold that shit. We come, we stop on zero. When the cashier's giving your money back at the store, you don't let them keep a dollar in their fucking hand. Do you wait till there's nothing left? We don't come, we don't come on one, go back down. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. I said one, not zero. Let's do it. Five in a row. Holy shit. Back to that squat hole. Five seconds. Come on. Hold it, hold it, hold it tight. Hold your ground. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Nice. Let's go to the rows. The back. We're going to the plyo first. So go to that straight arm, straight leg slam. So if you're going to dead weight fall, it was there. You go straight, and then, then you pick it up after you finish the so boom. It's a stiff, straight leg, straight arm slam. So you're pulling over with your lats. Brace your core. If you don't have something to slam, you're just standing. Even if you had a medicine ball and didn't want to slam it for whatever reason, you got some annoying ass. I'm just slamming it down. Boom. Without slamming it. Boom! Without slamming it. You can slam it. Straight. Straight leg. Straight arm. There we go. Go core. Let your More explosiveness go. going down. Control going back up. Explosive and down. Out. Control back up. It needs to be explosive going down. And then just lift it back up with control. Explosive down. Rip it down. Listen, if you can slam, slam. If you have a kettlebell, feel free to slam that on the floor too. Piss the fucking neighbors off. Pass it into the floor. <laughs> But it should be straight while you're slamming it. There we go, Yosef. Now we got it. But then pick it up right away. Once it hits the floor, bend down, pick it up. Boom. Bend down, pick it up. Boom. And bend down, pick it up. Your head is up. Chest is out. Shoulders back and down. This is your plyo on the back. And time. We're going to go to our dynamic. So our alternating row with your whatever weights you have. 
alternating sides. Back is straight. Abs are strong, right to it. You know the exercises now. Dig it. Dig it. Tyler, lean a little bit forward. Upper body. Lower down to the ground. Upper body. Lower to the ground. Just upper nice body. Slow, there you go. Good. Get that back totally straight. Like that. that chest should be Having looking at towards weights. the ground. This is the movement you need your heavier weights on. If you have anything heavier. Straight and strong. Stiff as a board with that back. Dig it in your lats as you bring it up. Squeeze. Squeeze. They're both moving the entire time. They're moving strong. They're moving slow. They're moving tight. Squeeze them with some intention. Locked. Every in. time you row in, exhale, oh. row, exhale. And time. Right away. Just put them down, shake it out. We're going the last variation. We're going dynamic, iso, and plyo goes last. For all nine. So we're starting with. Back to the chest. Again, it's going to be the dynamic, the iso, the plyo. We actually missed the iso on the back there to finish that off. So we're going to add an extra set in. So we're going to start with the chest dynamic. That's your chest press. Now listen, you have dumbbells. You have some. This has to be something heavy. You have to challenge yourself with this stuff. You can find stuff heavy around the house. You can make shit heavy. You don't have any weights. You have weights. Use your heaviest weights. This is your regular chest press. Let's do it. We're going to get started. We're going to get rolling. Chest press. On there your we go. Find some heavy shit. Is that, a, is that an encyclopedia? <laughs> encyclopedia is not going to uh, <laughs> Okay. I didn't really still make encyclopedia. Oh. Press it up. Exhale as you're pushing up. In through your nose the way down. Out through your mouth the way up. Yes, I see a bar coming out. Jasmine's bringing a bar out. I can't see her, but I see the end of a bar. Now we're talking. Bang it out there. This is going to be for a minute this round. Every set's going to be a minute, this group. Dynamic, iso, plyo. You need to breathe out when you're pushing that up there. You need to exhale while you're pushing it up. In through your nose, coming down. Out through your mouth, coming up. Drive it up there. Let's keep moving, Yosef. Let's keep moving. Push that weight. Stick that chest out there. You need to figure out ways to get yourself more resistance, more weight. In your home, there are so many ways to do it. I'm you, I have stuff that I've created here that's from 20 pounds up to 70 pounds. I didn't have a big luggage I didn't put out that has so much books and cans and food and water in it that it's almost 70 pounds to press inside the luggage. And just a weird grip and shape is hard as hell. It feels like 150, 200 pounds, the way that it shifts around. We're going a minute on this. Keep pumping up your chest. If your weight's light, you need to get a little pace to it. You need to pump that out if you're using light weight. You need to exhale as you're pushing it up there. Drive it up. In through your nose, out through your mouth. <laughs> Breathe it. We're cruising. We're cruising. Keep attacking that. 15 seconds. 15 seconds on this chest press. Oh, yeah. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. Push up. Push up. Drive it up there. Ah. Here we go. Five seconds. Five seconds. Keep Come on, banging. Janae. Janae, don't stop. Give me three more. We need the reps here. Five Three. more. Two, one, and time. We're on ISO for the chest. Remember, that's holding now that we're going to be your chest just hovering above the floor. Don't cheat. Don't pump out. Push up position. Chest hovering above the floor. Right here. It's an inch above the floor, but no part of your body is touching the floor. It should be hard to hold, especially after that long minute set of the chest press. So you're holding the bottom of the push up position, an isometric hold, squeezing your chest, your shoulders, your tries for a minute. Don't let your body touch the floor. You should be hovering above the floor. Some of you look like you're just laying on the floor. Make sure you're not. And this angle looks like you're on the floor. I hope that's not the case. This ain't a floor laying exercise. It'll be an isometric push-up. Locked in place. Holding it tight. Yes, yes, yes. Working it. Stiffer, stiffer, stiffer. Come on, hold. If you had to reset, reset pretty damn quick. Right to it. You got to reset, just get back to the top position, and then drop back down. Hold the freaking line. Hold the line. Back, back up, back, back up, back up. Hold it. Every time we come down, the clock stops in this minute. It's a minute in the air. Anytime one of you comes off and resets, we're going to have to pause that clock. I can watch every single one seconds. of you. 20 seconds. Come on, back down, back down. Right back, right back to it. 
Yes, yes. And time. You have your chest plyo. Chest plyo, the, the ball from your chest exploding up on your back. Explode up. Exhale as you throw it. Catch with your arms stiff. Tap your chest, throw it up. Resist your chest, throw it up. Catch solid, strong. Just blow it up in the air. Get some air with it. Boom, throw it up there your chest and you're shoving it away from you. That's what you need to think about it. Shoving it away from you. Get some air in that, get some air in that. Pull, pull power, full explosiveness. Plyometric. Slam it. Throw it in the freaking sky. Get it up there, get it up there, a little higher. Get that whole body underneath it. I need some air in that, I need that ball to hit the ceiling. Catch with your arms solid. If this isn't heavy enough for you, you need to create yourself a backpack stuffed with a little bit heavier. Some of those don't look heavy enough. Catch it with I see a cooler, Janae. I see a cooler for you. Is that a cooler? Throw it up. Throw it up. Oh, oh yeah. Just make sure it doesn't hit you in the face now. <laughs> and five seconds. Five seconds. Keep banging it. And time. So that was your plow for the chest. We're going to the legs in order of dynamic iso plyo. So get your weight. Get your heavy weight is for the dynamic on the squat. We're on squat. Hold that heavy weight in the chest. Sit back on the hips and heels. Into the nose down. Breathe it out as you're coming up. Drive it up there. Just blow it up. There we go. On the hips and heels. Sit back on the hips and heels. Full squat. Don't let that weight pull you forward. Keep it at the chest. Control that weight. Control that weight. Keep it up high. Sit back on the hips and heels. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Squeeze the core when you go down. Nice, guys. Keep it rolling. Keep rolling. We're going for a minute. Come on, Yosef. Come on. This should be your heaviest weight. Load up like a catapult. This is your dynamic squat. This should be your heaviest weight. Look from the side, I'm not leaning forward, you're sitting back. Hips go back, sitting back on the glutes, on the hips, on the heels. Into the nose down, out the mouth up. Drive it, drive it, drive it. You should drop down slow and explode up. There it is. Strong exhale. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Head is up, chest is out, shoulders are back and down. Control that weight. Drive up, push through the heels. Dig the heels in the ground. Sit back on the glutes if you're sitting back in a chair. Your core needs to stay tight the entire time. Hold that weight your chest. Don't let it pull you forward. Hold your line. Hold the line, Yosef. Hold the line. Five seconds. This is your dynamic of the squat. And time. And now right away, your legs already should be on fire. You're holding the weight. Hold it still. Hold it weight. And you're just holding the bottom. Holding that ISO for 60 freaking seconds. Figure it out. Make it happen. Let's roll. <laughs> Here we go. I think everyone's looking at you like crazy. <laughs> I'm used to it. Hold that squat. Hold that. Yeah, it's supposed to be on Yo, fire. Yo, a little higher. Yo, a it's little tough, higher. But it feels good. Cheating. One day. Yeah. Today might not be that day, but one day. No, Yosef. Up higher. There. You, little, no, not that high. Not that freaking high. Thighs parallel to the floor. This is just the bottom of the squat position. You got 30 seconds. There you go, right there. Minute, good. Good. It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to suck. Janae, a little lower. There we go, right there, right there. Don't drop any lower than that. Good. Locked, locked, locked in place. Yes. Hold it tight. Five seconds. Hold the line. Hold the line. Four. Three, get low, get low. Guys, get proud, boy, get down there, proud, power up. And time. And now just drop your weight, go without weight, because this is going to super fucking suck when you go to squat jumps. Four, <laughs> boom, weight, just body weight, right? It's the squat jump. Did dynamic, did, okay. iso, did isometric, now you got the plyometric. This is the final variation, though. It's this dip in this group for now. So you just hit each of these three times. That's all you did is hit each of them three times. Three sets of each. Don't stop, Yosef. Don't stop. Just because you start early doesn't mean you finish early. 
Pay. Go. Push the base right there. There we go. Breathe out. Explode up there. Your head stays up. Your chest stays out. Your legs, your glutes, your quads should be on fucking fire right now. Get up there. Get up there. And next round for the legs, don't worry. It's going to get even worse than this round. This is the easy round for the legs. The next round is even a little harder. So something for you to look forward to. Anthony nose down. Give me, give me, if we give me 10 more seconds of nonstop, we'll call the set. It's up to you. I'm watching everyone. Let's go. Let's go. Everyone let's go. Nuts, 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 10 seconds. That'll be the round. Except Joseph, who's hiding. Joseph needs to stop hiding in there. Not Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> 10 seconds nonstop jumping. Give me five more seconds of nonstop jumping. And we'll call the set. We'll call the round. Four, three, two, one, and time. Nice set for the legs. Let's go to the back. You have your dynamic. You're alternating. Rows. Dynamic. Slow. Control. Alternating bent or rows. If your legs can hold you up at this point. See if your legs can hold you up at this point. You have dumbbells, use them. If you have two huge water jugs, two, two five-gallon water jugs would be perfect for this. 40 pounds in each hands. Boom. Let's see it. Let's see it. Nice and slow. Power yeah, get push the little butt little out. Little push the butt out. Lean, yeah. Lean forward. Lean forward. You want your spine as close to parallel to the floor as possible. You want your back flat to the floor. Spine parallel to the floor. As long as you're not rounding your low back, keep those abs tight. Locked in place. Slow. Strong. Solid. Alternating those arms. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. This is the third segment of this third round. This is it for this group. For now. All the way down. All the way down. Eight. Five seconds. Five seconds. Finish it off. Keep that rolling. Keep those abs strong. Core tight. That's just holding you in place. It's those abs. Keep those abs in place. And time. That's your dynamic. We're doing ISO for the full row. Grab something heavy. Something that's going to challenge you. And you're just bringing it to your chest. And squeezing tight. Whether it's your pair of dumbbells. It should be a challenge to hold in place. Pin it to your chest, and you're just holding. Solid. Lock. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Your shoulder blades should be retracted. Squeezing together. Locked in place. Don't lift your neck up. Let your face follow your chest. Let your chest go. Your face should follow. So you shouldn't be here. I love looking here. You can hear my voice. It's just not normal here. But once you straighten your, your spine out, you're going to be more aligned. You're going to get better breathing in. You're going to get better posture. You're not going to screw your neck up. So your face should follow your chest. Pinch those shoulder blades together. This should be a challenge of weight. It should be hard to hold. It's just a little light in this ball. You need to find something heavier. And time. Go right to the flat to the back. That was our straight arm, straight leg. Full slam. Smash it down. Don't follow through. Boom. Then go down again. Reach right up. Boom. Go down again. It doesn't bounce. Bam. If you're not slamming or don't have a slammable object, just go boom, right here. Boom. Again, if you get a backpack, you can fill with some weight of whatever. It could be some clothes. If you get some weight in, you can also even turn that into something you can slam in your backpack. Boom. There's always a way to make this shit happen. I did a video earlier just kind of showing what things you can use. Like a cooler here. If you have for step ups, or even for a bench, for steps, for plyo step ups. So many options you can use. You need to sit on, step up on, slam that down. You need to get more aggressive with that slam. Bam! Vicious, violent. Put a hole in the damn ground. Let it fall through to the people below you. Let it lay on top of the neighbor's dinner table. Fuck it. Smash it. Exhale. Come on, Yosef. Pick it up. Pick it up, Yosef. Pick it up. This is the end of your third round. The end of this move. Right here. Boom! Smash it down. Lock, lock, smash, smash. And time. Shake it out. We're going to go right into a whole new group with the same idea, going back to the first variation, which started in the order of ISO, plyo, and dynamic. It's going to be all different exercises with this same idea, starting with the first variation, which had the isometric hold, plyometric, dynamic. I'll tell you where they are real quick. It's going to be just an overhead hold. You're going to hold your weight, hold the head while you're just walking back and forth on the floor. So you're going to get weight, get it overhead, 
and you're gonna be walking with it with your shoulders tight, your core tight. You're just gonna be walking back and forth, holding those shoulders tight overhead. <laughs> That's going to match up with a plyo on your knees. Push up position. Explode up as high as you can. That's going to be your plyo set. Your dynamic is going to be a dip. If you don't have any way to dip, if you don't have a chair or some kind of bench or like a cooler like this, you don't have anything to walk up for dips right here, you're going to take. One of your heavy weights instead, and you're coming overhead here for triceps for your dynamic. If you have somebody who can do dips, if you have two chairs hanging right by you, you can grab right away or some kind of bench to do dips on. If not, you're just going to get a weight and put it right behind your head. Those are the only you need to get set up on. I'll walk you through the rest as we get to them. The rest of you is going to follow right along with me. That's just the first three, so you know where we're starting. Again, the order is isolate, apply, dynamic for this round, and then we stick with this new group of exercises and rotate the variations. Everyone ready to roll? Everyone have the equipment they need? Thumbs up, yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. Get that weight overhead. That head weight overhead. Lock your shoulders out and you're walking back and forth. Tighten up your core. Strong shoulders, your shoulders should be struggling already right off the bat. Walking across the floor, whatever space you have. Around the room, holding that all the way up, Paolo. All the way up, all the way up, if you can. Stabilize those shoulders. It's just nice I don't know how high your shoulders. ceiling is. <laughs> Blow it up there. There you go. Strong, solid shoulders. Boom. You better have that cooler, Janae. I got the there one. It is. There it is. Keep up there. Good. Keep, up Keep there. it up there. Good. <laughs> I see a chair or a table or something up there. I like it. <laughs> You have someone sit in that chair and then hold it overhead. We want some challenging weight. We want to challenge those shoulders. Extend those arms. Joseph, extend those arms. Keep fully extended. Don't let them bend. If you're holding a weight, you should be holding it across this way for overhead. If your hands are further apart, don't hold it on the, the straight up and down. Hold it horizontal if you have a dumbbell. It's going to give you a better overhead hold. Five seconds, five seconds. Keep walking with that arms locked overhead. That's your upper ISO. And time. We're going to do our plyo on your knees. The one of the rare occasions you're allowed to push on your knees only because you're doing a plyo here. Right to the next one. Paolo, I can't see you. Paolo, I can't see you. Try to get as high up boom, as you can. Explode with your chest. We are almost coming up to kneeling. But keeping you your really hips let down, your chest go your down head. to the ground. Drop the hips too. Your hips so I get the free straight. fall. Hips should not be bending. You should be close to the ground. Your hips should be right next to the ground when you're down there. Try to go side. All right, Yosef. Do a free fall drop and explode up. We are on let side your hands catch. Hip. They're all the way down to the ground, but I'm not resting on the floor. Try to get as high as you can. Try to get up to kneeling. Do that air. Explode. Non-stop pumping it for 60 seconds. It's going to be hard, but keep pushing. Try not to bend your hips. As you start getting tired, you have to just go an inch off the floor, go an inch, but try to stick in that pile. Try to go, Janae. You got it. Come on. Rich. Make it happen. There you go, Jazzy J. Boom. Boom. Chest file. Huh. Ah. And time. So this round is going to have an upper and now a lower group. It's going to be just six exercises for this round. But it's going to be a split squat. We're doing ISO first. Don't forget. So you're going to hold your weight up in your chest. The reason why we're only doing because these have to get done each side. So you're going right leg forward, left leg back. You can see from the side view. I'm not on the floor. You're just holding that split squat with the right leg forward. You have to do it body weight, do it body weight. If you hold some weight in your chest, hold some weight. But that right knee should not be touching the floor. It should be an inch or two above the floor. Both knees are 90 degrees. Hold it. 
So this leg, this, this round is going to be heavy on the lower body because we have to do double the amount of sets because they're all single leg, all different variations of the split squat. It's going to fucking suck. Drop that seconds. knee lower. That right Chanel, knee down. Lower. Just holding into position. There you go. Front leg, you see the weight should be on your heel and your glute. That's where the weight is on that front leg. Back leg, you just balance a little. It's like a single leg squat on that front leg almost. Five, four, three, two, one, and come up. He's got to switch sides, drop right back down. For now, ISO on the left. Left leg forward. This is why there's only one, one upper body set group this round because the lower has to do double the amount of sets. So you're going to hold left leg forward. If you have a question, just yell it out. Or you need help with something, just yell it out. If your mic is mute, unmuted. Get that left knee close to the ground. You should be here. Almost on the ground, but not touching. Holding it for 30 seconds. This round is going to be tough. This leg round is going to be freaking tough. So you're on a split squat, left leg forward, ISO hold. Locked, locked, locked in place. Yes. Do 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Hold your ground. Joseph, get back in position. I'm looking at you. Ah. Four, three, two, one, and time. Don't worry, you got to break, you got to stand up. But the only problem is now we got to do plyo. Right leg forward, and don't forget, every one of these sets gets doubled because we got two freaking legs. So right leg forward, plyo, split squat. This is all split squats this round. It's gonna suck. So look at my feet, I'll go from the side. They stay in place, so I can go right down to the next one. You don't need any weight for this one, trust me, you do not need weight. Right leg forward, left leg back. They both leave the ground together, they both hit the ground together. Weight evenly distributed on both legs. Right leg forward, left leg back. And listen, if, if you can't do the jumps on these, if you need to modify it, look, you could go partial down. You can go part, part way down with just a little hop. If you can, go all the way down with a big hop. If you really have to, go all the way down with a tiny hop. Or all the way down with no hop. There's always a way to get through it. Figure it out. Work through it. This is right leg forward, split squat, plyo jump. Five seconds. We're not going to do these for a minute because that will just be... It probably is a minute anyway as I'm yapping. But anyway, four, three, two, and one. Come up, stand up. Only stand up long enough to now get your left leg forward. Four split squat, pile, left leg. Explode up. It's going to absolutely suck. But it's going to tighten Again, up you guys have to have a position like you're in a split, like you're about to drop down for a split. So if your legs are too close, get those feet further apart. Are you about to drop down for a split? At the bottom position, both knees should be 90 degrees. Left leg is forward. So down here, both knees are 90 degrees. And keep them in the air, spread apart while you're in the air so they're right in position. They're not coming close together in the air. It doesn't have to be a huge jump. You do not need a big jump to make this effective. You'll feel it in your glute. Your quad, it should be on fire. If it's not, you're doing something wrong. My shit's on fire. I only showed you a couple of each. You're doing the whole fucking round. They should be done. Five seconds. Five seconds to the left leg forward. Give me five seconds. Five seconds of thunder. Three, two, one, and time. Now we have split squat dynamic. So now you're actually going to hold the weight. If you can, back to the right leg forward. And just regular split squat up and down. Nice and slow, into the nose, pushing through that glue of the front leg, pushing the pressure of the heel of the front leg into the ground. Let's see it. Right leg forward, regular split squat. This is our dynamic. Enjoy. Straight down, straight up and down. So 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 get that back leg a little further back. Put back. If you can hold weight, hold weight. Just drop down. Go. It's not a lunge. You just drop them down. Right. So body weight, even just body weight, is going to be a shitload of work. If you didn't push hard enough, that front knee. Now. Tight, tight, tight. Keep the weight on the heel and the glute of that front leg. And again, modification is you can hold on to something. You can hold on to a, a chair next to you to help you. If you had TRX straps, you can hold on to a TRX. Anything that can help you balance and start to lose it. Also, you feel that your knees or your knees aren't just go partial, part, part, part of the way down, halfway down. Whatever works for you. 
and time. Come up, right away, just switch sides, right to it. This is the last one on this leg set. This is the last one on this round, and we rotate the variables. So left leg forward, left leg forward, split squat, dynamic. Let's roll. We made it through the first round of the split squats. This is a miserable leg round, but it's gonna give you a solid glue. So by the time the apocalypse is over, if there's any beaches left, you're gonna have some looking ready for the beach. Having those glutes ready for the beach. Except you won't be allowed to near, be near other humans. By then, it's going to be like a 600-foot social social distance or whatever. They're just going to keep increasing the social distance. You're not going to be allowed to go near other humans. But fuck it. We'll deal with it. Straight up and down. Push through the hip. Push through the heel. Drive it up. Upper body is straight up and down. We're up there. We're up there. Come on, Janae. If you can bend, you can bend. If not, do it out the weight. If you're not able to get all the way down, just go without the weight. You're better off getting deeper with no weight than shallow with, with, with weight. There you go. Good. Head up. Shoulders back. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. And that's that round. So we're going to repeat those six exercises. It was only six this round. The first round had nine. We're doing only six because the leg, that takes twice as long because of the single leg, just so you can see how things are going. So now we're going to rotate. That round was iso plyo dynamic. This one's going to just be shifting it to the second variation, variation of plyo dynamic iso. So it's going to go plyo on the upper body first, which you can remember was the push up. So let's go right to it. Your upper body's fresh. Up, up. Round two, group two. The plyo push. Get some air. Keep your hips straight. Don't bend your hips. I'm going to give you a side view so you can see it. So don't do this with your hips. And worm yourself up. Your hips are straight the whole time. So you're exploding using all chest, shoulders, tries. Bam, just shoving the floor away from yourself. Joe, I can't see you, Joe. Well, we got Joseph. Let's see a few good ones, Joseph. Come on, Joe. Oh, Kursky has joined the party. <laughs> you better not that camera again. I'll come to your house and hunt you the fuck down. All right, quit fiddling with the camera. Start pushing. I'm sweating. You're supposed to be fucking sweating. Thanks for the update. Keep pushing. <laughs> you stopped to unmute yourself to say I'm sweating. <laughs> Let's roll. Your upper body just had a whole long break by doing double the lower body set to its fresh. We're going 60 seconds. You got 15 seconds to go. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Woo. Breathe when you're coming up. Exhale when you're coming up. You got this. Keep rolling. Keep pushing. Explode. Explode. And time. We have dynamic next, which was our dips. Dips or tricep. Drive it up there. Find your dips or get your weight from the tricep overhead. You have some yeah, use that chair. You could use one chair. You can go in between two chairs. Yeah, the cooler. That cooler is good. Yep. Cooler like that here. Anything you can put your hands on and just lower yourself down. If you had two things, you were able to do real dips. You can even put your legs in the air in between two chairs and do a full dip. There's so many ways to make this shit happen. If you don't have anything like that, just grab your weight. Standing without curling your neck forward. Tricep extension. Overhead. <sighs> drive it up there. Drive it up there. Your arms had a whole long break here. What are we working on? I'm seeing some people hiding in the dark there. Keep working. There you go. Find a spot that works. Twersky, don't let your neck curl forward. Look at me. Look at me. <sighs> The weight bends behind your head. You should stand up. Bend your elbows. Your elbows stay pointing up to the ceiling the whole time. Don't bring feet closer your to your bottle if you need to. Extend your arms overhead. Bend, bend extend, bend, extend, squeeze, squeeze the triceps. And don't, top. don't curl your neck forward on those overhead triceps. Ah. Yes, I want to hear the noises. Ah! Five seconds, ah. five seconds. Ah. Let it out, let it out. Ah. Unleash the fucking beast! Yes! I don't know who's making those noises, but I love it! <laughs> Time! And we have an ISO 
for Upper. That's our overhead. Anyway, overhead shoulder walk. So overhead shoulder press. Anyway, it was amazing. I have to leave. Or at least be right. You okay, cannot can. arch your back. You're going to fuck up the spine. So dig in those abs tight. Every set's an ab set. Arms fully extended. Strong shoulders. Bursky, who's waving at? Take care, Joe. You have to leave? Yeah. I think you scared him off. <laughs> Keep rolling. Walking overhead. Lock those shoulders. Those shoulders be on fire. Fully extend them. Let the elbows go. Those arms extended. Them. Arms extended. Don't start bending it down. Don't start crunching it. Fully extended overhead. You have two, you can do two dumbbells with this. I'm intentionally showing you with other stuff today. I have tons of dumbbells here, but I want to show you how it can be done with anything. Just by filling up your luggage with weight and holding you overhead. If I need you, I can use this for a shoulder press without having to go forward. I can use it for a heavy squat. Always a way to make this shit happen. Obviously, you have weights. You can be using that too. Get those arms extended. Five more seconds. Five more seconds. Go, so get it up there. Give me five seconds. Lock those shoulders. Keep moving. Keep get walking. that box. <laughs> that cardboard box better not be fucking empty. <laughs> <laughs> and time. Put it down. That was your ISO. Back to our split squat rotation. What you've all been waiting for, round two. We're on plyo, dynamic, and then you finish with ISO. So you're going to have to hold at the end of this round, which is going to freaking suck, but you're going to deal with it. So we're going plyo first. Let's go right leg forward. Feet stay in place. In <laughs> Let's do it. Plyo, right leg forward. If you give me all that effort, it's going to be 30 seconds each leg, and that's it. Oh, but you guys have to push. Come on. You got to earn right those leg. 30 seconds. Blue, get some air. Get some air. Drop down lower, Janae. Just like a squat a jump. Even if you can just get an inch of a jump. Go for an inch of a jump. You got 15 seconds. 15 seconds with that right leg forward. Get up there. Get some air. Yes. Yes. Five seconds. Five seconds. Keep up here. Get forward. Get up. And time. Flip it. Hey, I can't see a thing. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? Enjoy it. I hope you can work out there on the side. Oh, she's she going to work out. Don't worry. I got her. <laughs> Let's do it. Left leg forward. We're on fire. Left leg forward. Drop straight down. Get it up there. Throw it up. Drive, drive, drive. Just feet stay apart in the air. Just land in place. Just drop right back down. Don't even think. Stop thinking, Yosef. Stop thinking. Just keep banging it out. Get some air. Your legs should be fried already. Deal with it. Work through it. They should be numb. This is the way you what you want. Push through. Five seconds. Five seconds. That left leg forward. Four, three, two, one. Time. And we're going to dynamic with a split squat. Right leg forward. This one, you are holding your weight. Especially if you weren't able to do the jumps on the plyo, if you weren't able to get air, you definitely need weight on this one to make it feel different. Give yourself a challenge. You're not jumping here. Just a dynamic set, straight up and down. Ride it up there. Sitting back on the hip and the heel of that front leg. The right leg is forward. Your weight is on the heel of this right foot. Glute to the right side, right here, solid to your rock. That right leg, that right glute. Right hip, straight down to the floor. Right leg is forward. That left leg is just balancing you, and you're lowering that left knee towards the floor. Just barely grazing the floor, not really touching the floor. Don't shift any weight. Five seconds, five seconds. Finish over work. Finish with work. Four, three, two, one, and Swiss leg. Left leg forward. We're on dynamic. Or the split squat. Left leg forward. Straight up and down. Get your nose down. Out the mouth and way up. Straight up and down. Locked in place. Feet stay planted in place. Drive up, drive up. 
Hands and knees down, out the mouth coming up, strong abs, head up, chest out, shoulders back and down. Breathe out, breathe out on the way up, drive up on the, on the way up, exhale. Left leg is forward. Hold your ground, hold that weight there, solid. Especially if you weren't jumping on the plow, you need to have weight. Push through it, do what you gotta do. Modify it before you stop. If you can't go all the way down anymore, do what you gotta do, make it happen. Cruise along. Drive, breathe out, breathe out. Exhale, shoot up. And time. That's the first two. We did plyo dynamic. Now we gotta do ISO, right leg forward. No weight. Oh, you can hold weight if you want to. That's up to you. You can hold weight. And just hold that right leg forward, that back knee hovering above the floor. Your head is up. It's gonna suck after those two sets. But tomorrow, when you roll over in your cave and you stand up, the way your legs are gonna feel, you're gonna say, oh my God, it hurts so much. But then you're gonna smile because it hurts so much. Keep working, keep it tight. Hold that ground, hold your ground. Put that weight on the heel and the hip, the glue to that front leg, the pull of that front leg. Don't shift forward to your right toes. Do not shift forward. You're, you should be so much back in that right heel, you can wiggle your right toes in the air. That's how, how you wanna think about it. So that your weight is distributed in the right spot. Hold it, hold it, hold the line. And time, switch legs. Left leg forward, nice switch swap. Left leg forward, hold it. You wanna check if you hold some weight. It's gonna be a quick 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and that's this round. All you gotta do is through one more time. Hold it tight, hold it solid. Left leg forward, split squat. Nadej, why did you come? Us from, from laying on the couch. <laughs> you turn this on instead of Netflix or accident. <laughs> Hop on the floor, come and join us. Hit the floor. Hold it, hold it. Five seconds, that's it, five. Four, three, hold the line. Do not crumble. Two, one, time, and that's the round. So the first round was ISO, plyo, dynamic. The second round was plyo, dynamic, ISO. This third and final round with this group is going to be the last variation, which is dynamic, ISO, and plyo. So really, any one of those variations sucks when it comes to split squats. So you have to do dynamic, then ISO, and then finish off with the plyo split squat after doing those first two. It's going to suck, but you're going to love it. So Shake, stretch those legs in between here. You're just stretching. This is no real break because you're going right back to the upper body. Just make sure those legs are ready. Shake them out. Do what you got to do. We're going, starting with that upper body dynamic with dips. So dips are going first. <laughs> if you're on a bench like this or whatever, make sure your back is close to the bench. Down to your upper arm is parallel to the floor. Lock it out. Squeeze to try. Your legs are straight. Your toes are up in the air. You're on the tips of your heels. Strong triceps. Make sure your back is straight up and down, close to your bench or your couch, whatever you're on. Pump those tries out. This is our dynamic. We're going dynamic, iso, plyo on this round. Strong tries. Breathe out. You're coming up. Exhale. Into your nose, coming down. Exhale as you drive up. Drive it, drive it, drive it. Breathe it out. We're only doing this one group of upper body, so we're going 60 seconds. You got 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go. As long as you know that, that 20 seconds, I just said it in my head. I feel like that was about 40 seconds. That might have been longer, but you're going to be all right. You're going to survive. It's just dips. It's just triceps. You want those triceps tight. You want those solid, ripped, shredded arms. You need to be strong and ready to fight off the fucking zombies that are coming your way. They're coming. The invasion is coming. The invasion is here. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep those heels on the floor. Back close for five seconds. Four more. Three, two, one more. On. That was our <laughs> ISO. It's the overhead. If you wait. Overhead. Solid shoulders after those triceps. And you're walking back and forth. Get your cardboard box in the air. Get your water in the air, whatever the hell you got, heavy weights, barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever you got, 
forehead, walking back and forth. Challenge yourself. It should be heavy, it should be challenging. Solid shoulders, they should be straight up in the air. Arms fully extended so that the shoulders are working the entire time. They're not getting a break. Just be isometric on your shoulders. Solid, strong, tight. Make sure your core is tight while you're walking back and forth. Make sure your elbows aren't really bending. They're all the way up there, locked out, strong, all shoulder. No help from anything else. Yosha, straighten those arms out. I want, a, I want a, a confirmation of what's inside that cardboard box. Yes, what's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> Lock in place. Ten seconds. Keep rolling. You have those fly over knee push-ups coming up. Five, four, hold it tight. Hold the ground. Straight up in the air. Two, one, and time. You're back on the floor. On the knees for that fly over push-up. Explode. I want you to get in some air. The hips are down. Explode. So you're not bending your hips. Exploding. Shoving the floor away from you. Get in your going in the inch on the floor. Get as high as you can. So this is your knees. This is your head. You should be moving up like this. Not bending your bending at the waist when you're coming up and down. Core tight. So your hips are close to the ground. Get those butts out of the air. Passes out of the air. Try to get a push. Try to get a push. Try to get those hands off the floor. Paolo, try to get the hands. Even if it's a quarter inch off the floor, if you can. There it is. Look at that. Perfect. Even knocked your phone. I like it. Destruction. Even if it's just an inch. Even if it's just a quarter of an inch. Do one. Hold it. And then do a regular one. Then do a pile. Then a regular one. Always find a way to make it happen. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Push the pace. Yes, get back to it. Get back to it. Fuck it, forget the camera, just keep going. We'll fix that in seven. We don't got time. Keep rolling. And time. That's your fly over the chest. Now we got to do the third variation of the split squat. Got to super suck, but it's going to be super fucking awesome. So we're going dynamic first. Get your weight. Get your weight while your legs are coming to press. Right leg forward. Dynamic set. Into the nose down, both knees come to 90 degrees. That's the leg, that thigh should end up being parallel to the hip, the heel, the glute, the right leg, right to it. Straight up and down, both knees bend, 90 degrees. That right leg forward. Yo, son, get that back leg back. There the back you go. Come close to the ground. Good. Better. Back knee. Both knees come to 90 degrees. This is just your first leg. The dynamic set. We're going dynamic, isometric, biometric for the last round of the split squats. And time. Switch legs. Just stand up straight. Shake it. Shake it. Smack the shit out of your legs. Do what you got to do to wake up the fuck up. They got five more sets for the split squats. That's it. And you're done with them. Left leg forward. Get your weight. Hold the weight in your chest. Upper body straight down. Core is tight. In your nose down. That right knee comes close to the floor. 90 degrees in both knees. Breathe it out, drive it up. In the nose going all the way down, out the mouth on the way up. Attack the set. Just this is your last round of these split squats. So it's gonna suck if they're gonna go numb. You're not gonna feel it. It's they're gonna be exploded and burned and killed. And then fucking push through for one more. Just one more. Just worry about the one you're on and then one more after that. And then one more after that. Until the time is up. That's all you gotta think about. The next step, the step you're on, and then just one more step. Then just one more step. Before you know it, you're freaking there. Five seconds on that left leg forward for the dynamic. That split squat. <sighs> Exhale, drive. Time. Stand up. Now we get to the fun shit. The isometric on each side, the, the plyometric on each side. So we're going iso. Right leg forward. Hold the bottom position. Holding it locked, solid. Enjoy it. Embrace the pain. Embrace the suffering. That's where you have growth. That's where you get to that next level. That's where you have success. It's through this suffering you're going through right now. This is what it's all about. Think about it. Everyone else in the world, bad shit happens, they run away from it. Hard shit, they avoid. If you seek out and search for the hard shit and do it with a fucking smile on your face, you are unbeatable.
You're bulletproof. You cannot be beat. You cannot be stopped because you're running towards the gunfire when everyone else is running away from the gunfire. That's where you need to see it when you're pushing yourself in these training sessions. That's where you need to see it. That's where you need to see it with the way the world is bugging out with viruses and all this other stuff. Attack it. Attack the fucking hill. Run towards the gunfire. And time. Let's go left leg forward. I still want the left leg forward. And hold. Hold the same position. Both knees 90 degrees. ISO left leg forward for the split squat. Lock, lock, lock. There it is. Hold it tight, hold it tight, hold it solid. Bend that back knee. Yosef, hold your ground. Fight it, fight it. You only got 15 seconds of this left leg forward. And then all you have left is the two sets of plyo. That's it. Howl up, bend that back knee a little more if you can. Just dig into that glue to the front leg. Dig into the heel. Drive that front leg heel to the ground. And time. Last two sets of split squats. Stand up straight. Get that blood flowing. They should be numb. They should be numb. You should be feeling them. So the good thing is you can't even feel them. So you're not going to feel it when you're doing these plow split squats coming up. Right, right leg forward. Left leg back. No weight. Just body weight. Get some air. Right leg forward. Left leg back. All these couple 90 degrees. Load. As much as it hurts. As much as your legs are done. Your quads are done. Your glutes are done. Give me a jump. Give me if it's just an inch. You know as long as you're not... Don't have any kind of injury where you can't jump. Show me an inch. Show me an inch of a jump. Show me a quarter inch of a jump. Give me that pump. Right leg is forward. 15 seconds on the right leg. There it is. There it is. I like it. Get some air. Upper body straight up and down the entire time. Pump that leg out. Four, three, two, one. Time. You have the last set. The last set of the split squats right here. Left leg forward. Plyo to finish off this split squat circuit. Left leg forward. Let's do it. Right to it. Yes, Joseph. Stand up. Stand up tall. Stand up tall. Embrace the pain. Em Let's go. Finish it out. Finish it leg. out. Embrace the suffering. Left leg forward. Split squat. Plyo. Let's roll. Get that you know, leg back. Get that leg back. Breaks. Yeah, like you're about to do a split. Get that leg back. Good. This finishes off the three sets of each. Left leg forward, both knees bent, 90 degrees that bottom position. Brace that core. So even when you're in the bottom position, that upper body's going straight away down, tight abs. Breathe out, explode out as you breathe up in the air. If your nose down, explode it up. Drive, drive, breathe out, exhale. Give me five seconds and we're good. Yosef, give me five seconds of work. Five seconds of work. Five seconds of jumping. Come on, Paola, come on. See, see if I ever want to give me five seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. Yes, take those legs out. And just when you think we're done, we are not done. We got to finish off with just a set of good old curls. Curls to the girls. A strength workout. There's no such thing as a strength workout if you do some bicep curls. So grab a weight, heavy weight, whatever you can. I'm going to grab my luggage here and just get a grip. And look, even with some clunky luggage like this, the medium-sized luggage, look at the range of motion I'm still going to get in my biceps. Still almost fully extended all the way up. Still, still squeezing. You have dumbbells, good. use the dumbbells. Right to your bicep curl. Right to it, right to it. I'm just going to do a couple sets to burn those arms out. The legs just got fried. We're going to have to take bricks to that chair. I'm just feeling like that chair is not heavy enough for me. I love the way it looks. It just looks freaking <laughs> awesome. Throwing furniture around. It looks freaking savage. It looks like a savage doing that stuff. I love it. Use, Use the couch. Use it. the sofa. I just I just a little more to it. Use the sofa. <laughs> yeah, pick up the sofa. Pump, pump, pump. Squeeze, squeeze. Now you're going to add a partial squat to that. A half squat to that. Just get a little pump. To it just to finish those legs off. Squat to curl. Squat to curl. Finishing it off. Right there. Into the nose down. Out to the mouth up. Yes, yes. Again, it should be one fluid and motion. Drop the hips down and up. Squat to curl the press. Squat to curl the press, just to burn it out. Squat to curl the press. Tight, tight, tight. Don't have forget to press up. Or a heavy weight, whatever works for you. 
Keep it tight. Keep it strong. Squat, curl, strong. press. Squat, curl, press. Press up. Press up. Paolo, don't forget to press. Up. Make that, there that you go. There also. So squat, you have dumbbell. curl, Just press. Squat, curl, press. They're out of your sides. Squat, curl, press. Do the curl while you're doing the squat. Tight, tight, tight. And time. We're going to finish off with some core here. Everyone's good? Everyone's feeling good? Everyone's got a little juice left? Thumbs up? Did I see a sideways thumb, like a half juice? <laughs> I feel like Bambi right now, okay? <laughs> feel like what? <laughs> Just said Bambi. Bambi. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> Bambi, I love it. So we're going to do the same game for now core, to finish off with our core. So we're going to go on your back. Go on your back. And we're going to start with just the ISO. So you're on your back. You're just going to hold your legs out about six inches off the floor. I don't know if you see my feet there. But six inches off the floor. You're just holding for 30 seconds. In your lower back into the floor. So your legs are just straight out, isometrically, holding your feet six inches off the floor. So we're going to play the same game. ISO, plyo, dynamic. Tight, tight, tight. Just 30 seconds. Make sure your lower back is pinned into the floor. Dig it into the floor. So your abs stay tight the whole time. And just hold the freaking line. Hold the line. Guys, I can't really see you anymore. There's that sun, sun going down or something. Locked in place. Five seconds of hold with those legs off the ground. Four, three, two, one, and time. Your bio set is going to be now with both feet about 45 degrees in the air. You're going to be short, choppy, pulsing flutter kicks. This is our final ab fast pace set. Look at my feet. They're very, the heel, if you can see from the side, is very clear in the toe on the other foot. So they're just pulses at about 45 degrees. Go, pump it, 30 seconds. So it's right here. About 45 degrees in the air, the heel barely clears the toe of the other foot. It's just real tiny movements. Yes, Yosef, nice pace. Just keep it short and choppy. Nice, I like it, I like it. Pick up the speed a little bit. Keep it close and tight. Both legs about 45 degrees in the air. There we go. Now I see you, Jefferson. Pump, 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 pump. Eight seconds, eight seconds, seven, six. Five seconds, pin that low back to the floor. Three, two, one, and time. Your regular dynamics, get away. Whatever you can, hold in the air. And you're going to do just a lower crunch. Knees spread 90 degrees. Your toes in the air, just curl your knees so they tap your elbows. So the weight stays in the air. Knees are bent 90 degrees. The angle of the knee is not changing. It's a lower crunch. Tap the heels to the floor, and then tap the knees to your elbows. Bring your knees to your elbows without changing the angle of your knees. There you go. Make sure those arms are fully extended. You can handle a pretty decent weight for this. You're just holding it in the air. It's just to keep you centered, keep you balanced. So the angle of your knee doesn't change. Just tap the heels of your floor. Your toes are pointing in the air. And bring those knees all the way until they touch your elbows, if you can, without moving your arms. Bring the knees to your elbows. There we go. So you get that full lower crunch. Nice. There it is. Full range of motion. When the feet come down to the floor, make sure you're tight, tightening up your core so your lower back sticks into the floor. Right there. Tap the heels to the floor. Squeeze it up. And time. Shake it out for two seconds. Now we got the last two rounds of this core because now we just did iso plyo dynamic for the core. Now we got to do plyo dynamic iso. Let's go right to it. The plyo set, the pulses, the pulses, the short choppy flutter kicks. Open it, open it. Dig in the core. Press on the lower back to the floor. These are the quick sets. Just bang these out. Finish it off with a bang. Finish it off with those abs. Dig, dig, dig. Pumping it, pumping it. Don't go too wide. Some of you are going a little too wide. This should be real short and choppy. Like real tiny little pulses. Super speed, super speed. This is what's considered your plyo set. Work through it. Tight, tight, tight. Pop, 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 pop. There it is. Pin that loop to the floor. And time. Dynamic set is the lower crunch. The lower crunch, the knees bent, the ball straight in the air. Holding it up all the way to your knees. Tap your arms, your elbows. Without changing the angle of your knees, you gotta bring them all the way up 
to your knees shut. And your knees stay bent 90 degrees the entire time. Tap the heel to the floor. Squeeze it up. There it is. Tight, tight, tight. Perfect. Keeping it strong. In that lower floor, keep rolling. Keep curling it. Just a little crunch. Working those lower abs. Pinning the lower back to the floor. Tension on the floor the whole time. Finishing off. And time. Finishing off this round two. Is the ISO. Just holding the legs. Six, six inches, eight inches, 12 inches, whatever. Whatever you can do without arching your lower back too much. Don't strain your lower back. It's going to come off the floor probably a little bit on this. But as long as the core is tight, that's fine. You want your, if anything, that natural curve is fine. Don't over arch it where you're feeling a strain in your lower back. If you have to, just bring your legs up a little higher. If you're feeling a strain in your back. Now, don't mistake work. Your lower back is definitely going to be working to stabilize here. So don't be afraid to let your lower back work. Just get to know the difference between strain and work. Just holding that ISO hold. Just finish up round two of the core. We only got one more round of the core, and you are done. Five seconds. Hold it. Get those legs up in the air for five seconds. Don't drop them four. Don't drop them. Get them up. Three, two, one. Time. Reset. We got our final round of core. Our final round of the day. It's dynamic ISO plyo with those three movements. Everyone ready to roll? We look like we got a dead body. We got a couple dead bodies on the floor. Put a thumb in the air. If you can raise one thumb, just raise one thumb. That's, that's all we need. Yes. Let's roll two thumbs. I like it. And a smile. Two thumbs and a smile. We got dynamic first. Got your ball in the air. Knees bent 90 degrees. Heels. Squeeze it up. Drive it up there. Dig, dig, dig. Curl the knees to the chest. Hand that lower back. This one, you want that lower back touching the floor the whole time. Don't let it arch up with this one. So grind that lower back into the floor so your core stays tight. Knees are bent 90 degrees all the way until they tap your elbows. We're coming in between your elbows. If you can get even more range of motion. But keep tension on the core the whole time. Constant tension on those abs. Squeeze it tight, strong, solid. Five seconds. This is your dynamic. All you have after this is the iso plyo. Boom. Done. And time. Switch over to the iso. Just that straight leg hold. That leg leg hold. Locked in. If you can, get your head off the floor. Get your lower back as close to the floor as possible. You're just holding that position for 30 seconds. That's it. You got this and the plyo, which is the short chopping floaty kicks. And you are done on a Friday night. Whatever the hell night we're on. I don't even know anymore. There's no days of the week anymore in the apocalypse. It's just day after day. You don't need to worry about what day are. It doesn't matter. Locked. Solid in place. Make sure those legs are off the floor. Some of those are looking a little too low, like still low and loose on the floor. Straight stiff. Give me 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Don't cave. Don't cave. Don't crumble. Tight. Fight it. Fight it. Hold the fucking line. Four. Three. Don't crumble. Two. One. You're not dropping to you. Zero. Zero. Done. Bring them down. Nice. Five ways and short, choppy, rudder kicks. Pumping it out. Head off the floor if you can. If your neck is strained, just put your head on the floor. It doesn't matter. Go, pump those out. Real short and choppy with your feet, with your legs at about 45 degrees in the air, somewhere around there. Not too wide. You don't want your feet came too wide this one. We want them short and choppy. Many variations you can do a flutter kicks. Pumping that, pumping that, pin that lower back to the floor. Make sure you're not feeling any strain in the lower back. Keep it supported. You need to stop and reset. Do what you got to do. If you need to raise them up a little higher, do what you got to do. Modify before you stop. Don't get that strain in your lower back. You got five seconds and you're done. If everyone gives me five seconds, we're going to be done. But every time someone stops, we start the five seconds over again. We're on four. We're on three. Keep pumping. Do not stop. Two. One. Time. And we are done. Let's get sit up. Just get on your butt, lay onto your side, and you're going to stretch your quad from down here. So you don't have to worry about standing on it. So think of the same standing quad stretch, just laying on your left side, stretch your right quad. So you're totally relaxed on the floor. Keep your knees lined up there. And bring the heel to your butt. That should feel good on your quad and your hip. You need to start stretching those legs now after those three rounds of the, the, split, the split squats. That shit was brutal.
Hold that, breathe it, squeeze it. Every stretch, ease into the stretch. And when you're done, right now, ease out of the stretch. Don't let it just snap out. Ease out of the stretch. If you want to go snap at something, it's a recovery process starts now. Take this recovery and the stretching just as serious as you take the workout. Take the warm up just as serious as you take the workout. All right, roll over to the other side. Let's get that left quad. Same thing. Keeping your knees lined up, bring your heel to your butt. Stretch it all the way up to get the front of your hip flexor. Stretch it out. Don't forget, you could still have your friends join this online stuff. There's so many people out there that need this. For only a dollar a day, you can't be. They're going to get full access to everything that you get to try out for 21 days to $21. We will hook them up, and then they can continue as an ongoing member just like you. So make sure you let your friends know. Ease out of that stretch. Now you're going to lay on your back. Can you see me from there? Yeah. Right leg over your left. Take your right hand, put it in between your legs, and you're going to pull this left leg back with both hands. So again, cross right leg over left, put the right hand in between your legs, take both hands, and pull your left leg back. Now let go with your right hand, and you're going to push the inside of this right thigh. So left leg, left hand is pulling you back while the right hand is pushing this because you're going to get that glute stretch. You're basically stretching it like this. You're pushing on that knee while this hand is pulling it. You need to get that glute stretched out. So make sure that right leg, so left leg is pulling, or sorry, the right left hand is pulling while the right hand is pushing. So you can open up that hip and glute after those split squats. We're gonna hold that for a good 30 to 60 seconds to stretch that out. Beginning of the workout, we do dynamic moving stretches to get ready for the work. The end of the workout, more isometric, more holding it on the stretches to start preparing for the recovery, letting that blood go. All right, ease out of that, ease out, because that's a weird contorted position. So now the other side, left leg over right. Right hand, left hand goes in between. You're gonna pull this back. Let go of your left hand. You push on the inside of your left thigh. Push it forward while this right hand is pulling my right leg back. So my right hand is pulling the right leg back while the left hand opens that hip up to stretch that glute. You can even use your elbow. Sometimes the elbow is even better than the hand. See your elbow, kind of grab your hand and push your elbow onto the inside of that left thigh. Are we getting that stretch? It's a little complicated to get in there, but it is a freaking awesome loop stretch. All right, ease out of that. Ease out. Don't snap out. And come up on your feet. We are done. And as I said, you can have your friends join for this online full training for 21 days to 21 dollars. And the same thing goes if your friend ends up staying on board after that as a full-time member, you still get your referral of half off of your next month. So it's, it just keeps going the same. We're keeping the thing going because I have a feeling that this whole craziness that's going on out in the world is getting, actually I know it is. I have some insider information. Things are getting worse before they get better. I'll just say it like that. We ain't going anywhere anytime soon, I think, because that's the way it is. Schools are already extending the time that kids are out of school already, so we need to make sure we stay focused. We need to make sure what was, what was in that bag? What was in that box, Joseph? Boost that wine? Hey, guys, thanks. For the show box. I want to see, too. Say again? He had, uh, he had wine. He had wine in the box. box. I, got, I got a bottle for everybody. <laughs> no wine? What if you want to drop it? I had no idea my microphone was muted this whole entire time. <laughs> it was. I was talking shit to him. <laughs> yeah, shit, you're lucky you dropped that box on the floor. That would have been a fucking that was, that was why I picked it up. I knew I couldn't drop it. <laughs> motivation. So wait, what you're was totally it? Focused, that's, that's he had wine. Survival, it. Survival, survival right there, there, the case, wine, yeah. Wine. All right, yeah, anyone have any questions? Right. Anyone need any help with their nutrition? Anyone need any help with figuring out how to get these workouts in? Or need any help with the exercises, modifications? Figuring out how to get equipment in your home? There is always a way we can help you out. So anyone need any help with anything? Any questions? This is your time to ask. Whether it has to do with this workout, with your nutrition, with your eating, with anything. If you have any questions? This is time to ask. If not, just post them on the VIP page. As you know, all these workouts. If you ever miss them, they're immediately post on the VIP page and as you know with everyone's post that stuff can get pushed down so they're also immediately posted in order 
all the at-home workouts are in order. Like literally the ones from this morning were up an hour after that the workouts were done already on the peak portal, the membership website. So not even on Facebook. So they're both on Facebook and on the website. So if you want to just get them all in order and see tons of other workouts, there's content being added to that peak portal, like literally hundreds of different exercises being added on there just to give you additional stuff to work on on your own. Every single day there's recipes on there. There's tons of nutritional information to help oh, you out, tons of good. motivational mindset stuff to keep you in the freaking game. Anyone if have you guys any need questions? Any help with the portal, let me know. Yeah, how We're do I put my off. I forgot. What's that? How do I put my it's name on my iPhone. iPhone? Oh, I figured it out actually. I didn't even know I could do that. So I renamed you. You're good. Uh, but yeah, but I'll let you know how to do it. I'll I'll send you a text and tell you. Sounds good. All right, awesome. We're going to finish. Since we're not allowed to have contact with other humans, we're going to finish with a hairy knuckle fist bump. Put your fist up into the screen. Yes. <laughs> Jazz, get them hairy knuckles out of there. <laughs> we are done. You are fucking awesome. I will see you later. Wait, oh, wait, wait. Job, guys. How bad is my camera? It's not that bad. Is that bad? It could be worse. Could be worse. Now I can see you, but at one point, like, the sun was coming in, you couldn't see shit on there. I didn't want the kids to remember that I was still in here, so I had to turn off the lights. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Great workout. All right, I will see you nice. later if you need anything. Workout, six, 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 right. six active calories. Woo, girl. Right. Guys, don't forget Welcome. to check in on Facebook. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow, 7.15 a.m., okay? Give shoes. Hashtag. Yeah. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye, Jasmine. Right, we'll see you later. Let me know if you need anything.